What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction video. Today, I am going to be reacting to the other two series of shorts that are, well, it's in the name, but they're very short. Um, and we are going to then move on to season two next video. So stay tuned for that. Also in this video, stay tuned until the end where we're going to talk a little bit about a, a, a few tiny things that we missed um, in the past few videos or whatever. I've had a few comments basically saying, have, have a look over here just a little bit more and yeah, happy days so we can find some more secrets. But we are going to begin with Mabel's Guide to Life. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, unless there are like secret codes or like a secret end screen in this, in, in these uh, shorts, I'm literally just going to play all of it through um, in one video or at, in, in one, um, just so that we can get through it because I don't think these are going to be super law relevant at all. I think they're just there to be funny and you can tell I'm just really eager to get to season two at this point. <laughs> All right, so we're beginning with Mabel's Guide to Dating. Let's go. And that concludes Mabel's Guide to Fitness with Waddles the Jog Hog. Ha ha ha. Next Sunday, you got a jog for a jog. Yes. Yes, Waddles. <laughs> oh, I love this song. M -m 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 Mabel. Oh my god. Oh, love America. Am I, am, I, am I looking at the right camera? <laughs> Should men always pay for dinner? What is this, Russia? <laughs> How many kids would you like to have? Seven, preferably. That's one to love every day of the week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Animal dating. Total dating. <sighs> Uncle Stan, on a scale from one to five, you scored a three. Yes! Yes! Girls, <laughs> lady plumbers, and convicts. I still consider this a victory. <laughs> you should just focus on being you. Questionable. Questionable. <laughs> I am the world's most perfect man. What? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, to be honest, this is exactly what I thought this was going to be about. <laughs> this is Mabel's Guide to Life. It's just insanity. It's just constant insanity all the way through. Oh my gosh. This is, it's, it's a lot for my brain to comprehend. I will say that. I don't know what the edit of this is going to look like on YouTube, but I imagine it's just going to be me going like, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. But that was um, that was weird. I don't think I learned anything from that. Um, I need I need lessons on dating, and I did not learn a single thing about dating in that. So, thanks Mabel for always being insane. Okay, episode number two, Mabel's Guide to Stickers. M M Mabel. <laughs> I like how different this is from Dipper's show. Like it, it really brings out their personalities. Mabel, have you ever read a history book? Edit it out! Edit, edit, edit! Cut away! <laughs> that was really cool, actually. Goofily eye stickers. Ah, it's like they're watching me! <laughs> Scratch and sniff, sniff and touch. I saw several times in Gravity stickers. Falls. You can get these ones free at the store. Sticker <laughs> <laughs> stickers. <laughs> free TVs, everybody! Ah, free TVs! Free TVs. Ten thousand dollars. Oh, ah, my price. <sighs> I'm gonna get so sick. Nom, nom, nom. Mabel, don't you think those are hazardous to your health? What the hell? <laughs> what? Well, how'd I get here? How'd I get here? Mabel's guide to fashion. That again. Thanks for watching Mabel's guide to home pyrotechnics. <laughs> Pyrotechnics. <laughs> I'm jamming out. They're at the cemetery. The boys love it. 
So wait, what do you want me to do? Flip off your glasses. Uh, like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so random. It's too Gen Z for me. Oh, what's happening? Beauty is happening! Oh, I'd be pretty mad at you girls if I didn't look so fantastic. Oh my god. Girls. I'm taking your aftershave. <laughs> Let's try something bold. Am I good or am I good, girls? Absolutely stunning. Now we cover up that problem area. Now <laughs> That's the way my body naturally wants to move anyways. Yeah. Yeah. This is as I say, just insanity. This is why I'm watching. Are you laughing at me? And that's Mabel's guide to laughing for an uncomfortable amount of time. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I wish I could go viral off of these sorts of videos. Oh, the, the best part is the intro. Bro. <laughs> okay. I would love to learn color theory. Green of a nauseous twin brother to the weird orange of an old man's nose. Ooh. By a magic wizard named Crandall the Fabulous. It's your favorite color, Gravity. Crandall. Hot pink. Beige. Wendy. Wait, what was the question again? Wendy. Leopards count as a color. Flannel. Camouflage. Magic vision poster. Oh, there might be something there. What if we reflect the rainbow from the falls into Stan's window? Yeah! Prism. Get the prism. Nothing oh, cool. Dark room like light from a window. Time to open the window. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I love the animation. Join us next week when we'll be doing Mabel's Guide to Apologizing to Your Great Uncle. I hate color more than ever! He's just saying that. God, got it. Is that a joke that I want to laugh at? I don't know. <laughs> Amelia Awesome Heart? Okay. Mabel's Guide to Art. At age two, I was naturally gifted. By age five, I was a master of portrait. Dipper. <laughs> I'm a free expert. Rainbow Court. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake. That doesn't look anything You're like right, me. right, it does look exactly like you! Cacture! <laughs> <laughs> and I sell them for $10 each. You need an agent? I am now your agent. <laughs> <laughs> Looks exactly like me. Right oh my, my god. actual cat whiskers that the doctors can't explain. Meow, meow, meow. Wait, yeah, he does have whiskers. It's weirder than I remember. Behold! Humana catacatures! Humana catacatures! <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes you have to suffer for your art. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah! Ah! It actually kind of jiggles. Ooh, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the end of Mabel's Guide to Life. It, um... Um, how do I feel about it? It was fine. I, I liked the, the color one. Um, that was cool. I, uh, I, I mean, obviously I prefer the Dipper ones because it had, like, lore in it and codes in it and stuff like that. But this was still really fun. I think these are the sorts of shorts that kind of, like, flesh out people's characters even more. Like, I don't think we needed more character for Mabel. But <laughs> it's really cool that we've got it anyway. Like... Uh, it, it's really cute. It's it's really cute. Um, and I'm glad that they decided to do like they, they decided to do shorts on um, on some of these characters to kind of show what kind of uh, videos they would be making if they were YouTubers. <laughs> I'm sure someone's made like a parody Mabel account on YouTube or something and makes the same sort of videos. Um, but yeah, if, if I could go viral for making these videos, man. <laughs> I'd be rich. All right, this is now fixing it with Seuss, and there's only two of these, so we're gonna get through them quite quickly. But 
Either way, let's do it. Cool. <laughs> it's like proper early 2000s. Like nobody knows how to video edit. But everyone's making YouTube content. That I edited myself on my own computer. Nice. Keyframing. As you can see, it's tore up from the floor up. Tore up from the floor up. Stan will rate my handiwork on the osmometer. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, I love this. You've joined forces with Mabel. This is an unsettling development. <laughs> so, Stan, what do you think? It's Why pretty is it cool. Why set to 150? Its hands are in the air like it just doesn't care. Clocks usually are on 150, actually, in, like, commercials and stuff. Because it's like a happy face. Amazing. Great. Cool. Epic. <laughs> because I think I crashed it permanently making some of those graphics. <laughs> Amazing. That was so funny. Alright, we've got... We've now got a uh, Fixing of Asus number two. And as I say, this is the only other episode that there is. Uh, I assume because he he completely crashed his computer making these videos, but uh, respect the the video editing is on point. It's amazing. Let's go. I love this intro too. Chicken holder, fixing healing, zero G's. Oh my god. The show where I always forget that I'm leaning on the soldering iron. Oh ha! What needs fixing today? He's gonna do that again in a minute. I accept this call, Wendy. Huh? What call? The call of power! <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you guys later. Oh no, a bat! Laser eyes, go! Still in the dark over here. Still in the dark over here. Hey, do you think a girl would think I look cool in this jumpsuit? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Some things even Seuss can't fix. <laughs> What is going on? It's so low definition. And the green screen is uh accidentally unscrewing. Behold! That's pretty cool actually. Oh pyramid with an eye below it. <laughs> of course. We're clearing it! We're clearing it! So what score do I get from one to ten? Ten out of ten! Are they gonna land? I think the roof is broken. Can you fix it for me? I make my own economy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to lean on like the soldering thing again or whatever it was. Oh, uh, man, that was funny. <laughs> okay, I like the Zeus ones more than the Mabel ones. You know, a strange, I, I could not have predicted it actually. I, I thought I would like the Mabel ones the most because Mabel is one of my favorite characters. But I actually think it was too much. I think it was too much for my for my brain. Um, but fair enough. I, I really like the Zeus ones. Um, they hit close to home. You know, I'm, I'm a video editor at heart. Um, but the different ones are amazing as well. Make sure you go and watch that video. My reactions when um, when this video is over. But actually speaking of that, there is one thing that I missed in the Dipper Shorts and I want to go through it now. So this is my uh, my project for the, uh, for the Dipper Shorts. And what I want to do is I want to get the episode with the tooth. I think it's literally called the tooth. So here, here it is. Um, so you guys were telling me in the comments like you you did not hesitate and like I th There are times where I'm like, yeah, please Please don't say anything. Please don't spoil things for me I want to find things for myself But at the same time I probably was never going to return to these shorts and I probably never would have actually found it myself So I'm kind of glad and I'm kind of like eh, but either way I know what to do now. So essentially I missed something because I was probably too shocked to even listen or I was too um, focused or, like focused on like trying to be entertaining. The, the thing is about reactions is like I'm trying to focus on being entertaining and I'm trying to focus on the visuals. The audio sometimes slips me 
And apparently, when the big island monster came up, um, there were some backwards voices. So I'm going to go to that moment. I will say, this part is genuinely terrifying. Like, straight up from a horror movie or something. Like, this monster, oh my gosh, it's, it's so scary. Like, this is the scariest thing we've seen in Gravity Falls yet, um, by far. The hide behind is also pretty scary. I heard that's actually like an old legend, like a, well, yeah, I guess, I guess like a legend or like folklore in, uh, somewhere in America. But, um, but this is just terrifying. So I'm going to reverse this audio, I believe, and hear what it says. Um, and I'm really scared to hear what it says because I feel like it's going to be even scarier. But here we go. Oh my god, was it enter my mouth, enter your enter your destiny or something? Wait. Yeah, it's it's um it's like something about slumber and then enter my mouth, enter your destiny. Oh my gosh, that's that's really scary. And I have a lot of respect for like Alex Alex Hirsch and all of the people who who worked on this show because of that sort of thing, because of the fact that because it makes it scarier. Like the fact that there are secret messages and stuff, like backwards messages, um it just makes it scarier because it's like it's concealed behind the fact that it's backwards and you have to like do all this work to find this secret message and when you get it it's nothing but like threats and like yeah it's 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 ooh it's it's horrifying so boys there you go there is pretty much everything except for one more thing that I'm going to be able to solve thank you guys so much for reminding me about this but I did a short video, like a genuinely like a nine minute video or something, solving this code. And it says the portal when completed will open a gateway to infinite new worlds and herald a new era in mankind's understanding of the universe. Plus it will probably get girls to start talking to me finally, which is really funny. Um, and so we, we, we have like, oh, it's disappeared. Oh, great. But, oh, well, basically we had this sort of language here. Oh no, I'm gonna have to read I'm gonna have to re-get this. Okay, I've, I've got it here. So here are like all of the symbols next to the numbers. So like each of these numbers, um, or sorry, each of the numbers up here is actually like in the show is one of these symbols. We just turn it into numbers so that it would be easier to kind of decode um, or e just easier to look at. But you guys reminded me that there's also this code in here, which I think is in the last episode. It's either Dreamscaperers or Gideon Rises, but this code also exists, which is the same cipher. So hopefully we're gonna be able to solve this right now. The hardest part of this is probably just gonna be um, finding, like trying to get the, the right symbols, but I think we can do it. So that's an eight and then a 14, and then we have a seven and a six, I think. And then we have this nine thing, so that's 12. Uh, an E facing up is a five. Okay, I've got all the numbers. Uh, I'm wondering if I can just copy this. Yeah, this is the formula for it, by the way. It's insane. I think I can. Uh, it will just be... Uh, but I don't want it to take B20, I want it to take B34. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Move, move, move. Liar, monster, snappy. Liar, monster, snappy, dresser. Huh? <laughs> Liar, monster, snappy, dresser. Oh, are we saying that Bill Cipher, because this is on the Bill Cipher page, Bill Cipher is a liar monster, but he's a snappy dresser. Because I think he has a bow tie. I guess that's what we're saying. Um, I can't imagine that being anything different. Uh, but cool. Cool, cool, cool. We've solved that code as well. And I don't think there's any more codes at this point in time.
that I can solve, but let me know if that is not the case. So guys, I am very content with all of the progress that I have made, and I am really happy to announce that the next video that you're gonna see from me, which is a video that I think I'm gonna record right now, is gonna be season two, episode one to three. I am so excited to get into season two. You have no idea. I just, I, I really need to, I really need to start watching it. I, I, I'm really, really hyped. So I will see you in that video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I really hope that you've been enjoying the series. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get into season two next time. See you then. Goodbye.